in a vibrant African village nestled among lush green hills and fertile plains lived two best friends Sarami and Adara they were inseparable they are bond stronger than the mightiest baobab tree from the time they were young they did everything together laughed played and dreaming of their future one day while walking through the village market Adara's eyes fell upon a young farmer named Mazi. His tall stature, warm smile, and gentle demeanor captivated her heart. She found herself enchanted by him and longed for his attention. However, fate had other plans. For Mazi's heart belonged to Sarami. Sarami and Mazi's love blossomed like the most vibrant flowers in the garden. They spent their days working side by side on Mazi's farm, nurturing the land and their love. Adara, although happy for her friend, couldn't help but feel a pang of envy as she watched their love deepen. As time passed, the envy within Adara grew stronger. and her once pure heart became clouded the thought of sarami's happiness with mazi gnawed at her soul consumed by jealousy she wished she could have what her friend had one day adara came across a mysterious amulet in the marketplace the seller claimed it was a powerful charm capable of granting any wish Believing it to be her chance to win Mazi's heart, Adara bought the amulet with a cunning plan in mind. On Sarami's wedding day, Adara handed her the amulet as a gift, masking her envy behind a fake smile. "This is a symbol of our eternal friendship, dear Sarami," she said, hoping that her well wishes would hide her true intentions. Amidst the excitement of her wedding day, Sarami received the amulet with joy, thinking it was a genuine token of friendship from Adara. However, the celebrations kept her too occupied to inspect the amulet closely. She thanked Adara and placed it aside and forgot about it entirely. The first year of Sarami and Mazi's marriage was filled with happiness and prosperity. Their farm yielded bountiful harvest and their love seemed invincible. Yet, unbeknownst to Sarami, the amulet hidden away in her bedroom held a dark secret. One day, while cleaning her bedroom, Sarami found the amulet again. Intrigued by its beauty, she decided to wear it as a reminder of her bond with Adara. Unaware of the curse woven into its very essence, Sarami innocently embraced the amulet as a symbol of friendship. Soon after, misfortune struck their once peaceful home. Sarami began experiencing inexplainable accidents around the farm, and she suffered from mysterious illnesses. To her horror, she also faced several heartbreaking miscarriages. robbing her of the joy of motherhood her husband mazi also became too aggressive and violent towards her causing some more miscarriages sarami would reach out to her friend adara and confide in her what she was going through adara would always console her friend telling her that things would change and be good again but the more days passed the worse it got One fateful day, an old woman came to Sarami's home and introduced herself as Nanaya. She found Sarami crying at her doorstep after yet another miscarriage. "My child, why are you crying when you are wearing the source of your sorrow?" Sarami was puzzled and stood up. She ran and called the neighbor to hear what the old woman was telling her. When the neighbor arrived, The old woman Nanaya 
continued speaking and told Sarami that the cursed amulet she was wearing was the source of all the calamities that have been happening to her. Sarami could not believe her ears and broke down in tears after figuring out that her friend was the source of all her misfortunes. The old woman, Nanaya, stepped out of the gate and was never seen again. It was as if she appeared and simply disappeared. Sarami called her husband, Mazi, and together with their neighbor, who had run to call the elders, went to Adara. Overwhelmed with grief and betrayal, Sarami confronted Adara. How could you betray our friendship with such a cursed gift? She asked, her voice shaking with emotion. Adara, now consumed by guilt and regret, fell to her knees. My friend, I am so sorry. I was blinded by envy. I wanted Mazi's love, but I see now how foolish and selfish I have been. Together with the villagers, the amulet was destroyed and the curse lifted. Some rituals were also performed to cleanse the amulet's malevolence and restore harmony to Sarami and Mazi's life. As the curse lifted, Adara's envy transformed into genuine remorse and vowed to be a true friend to Sarami once more. Over time, their friendship began to mend, with Sarami finding it in her heart to forgive Adara for her grievous mistake. Sarami and Mazi's love deepened once again, and their farm flourished. She also got pregnant with twins. The village rejoiced as prosperity and happiness returned to their land. The tale of Sarami's curse spread throughout the village and beyond, serving as a cautionary reminder of the dangers of envy and betrayal. Sarami's forgiveness and Adara's redemption became an inspiring example of the power of love and friendship to overcome darkness. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to support our channel, like, comment, and share. Bye.